cold and blustery northeast coast. Yet the tiny piping plover shows up every year to fight for mates and create a family. These plovers are under pressure due to coastal development and habitat loss. Intense recreational use of the beaches also disrupts a breeding cycle. All along the Atlantic coast in the US and Canada, um, we spend a lot of time, effort, money, every year to protect these birds and the barrier beaches in which they inhabit. Protected on its breeding ground, but not protected in its wintering habitat. They're only in Massachusetts for about four months of the year or along the Atlantic coast, and the other eight months they're in the Bahamas. The beaches in the Bahamas are still remote and have little disturbance. They are perfect for plovers and other migratory species. When you see a piping plover in an ecosystem, you know that that likely means the beach and the coastal areas around it are healthy. In the winter of 2011, researchers from the U.S. and Canada came down to the Bahamas and did a piping plover survey. Friends of the environment and other local groups assisted them with that. We found out that uh, the Bahamas is actually a very important wintering ground for piping plovers. There are many lessons from the north that can guide the Bahamas in preserving the coastal habitat and developing a sustainable economy. I really hope we can partner more in the future and learn from each other. And we've learned a great deal since being down here. Building partnerships is critical to the sustainability of our ecosystem. Now is the time to work together for the future of this species, the health of their habitats, and those who depend on the beaches for their livelihood. It's time to get this message out.